Hi everyone, James here. Back with another a look inside the box review. This time it's the Ed Wired Trouble Combo 170 second scale Czech Mark 9 Spitfire set. And I've done a bit of translating on the uh, bottom here. It says hours uh, is coming back, and then on the side, uh, Spitfire Mark 9 uh, Czech pilots. So on the front, a uh, very nice uh, picture of the three Spitfires. Um, this one here showing the pilot looking out over at the other two. So on both sides you have uh, all uh, the markings you get included in this uh, set here. Now there is one particular one I'm going to do for my Duxford series and it's on the other side. Is the uh, ZDB one that is currently based at Duxford? That's the two sides, and um, the the other two ends is just uh, the picture again, and then the the Edward trouble combo. So inside. Uh, you get three Mark 9 Spitfires individually wrapped all, all identical and you get three clear parts sprues the I did some translation um, ours will come back again on here extended edition down here and this is uh, what I could uh, make out and translate it's very uh, ignorant of me not to um, understand it but I think it's a bit of history of each markings as uh, you get so there's every every marking you can do in, is in here and then there the the one of marked that's that one down here I'm going to do and I'm going to do the the other two in check markings so it can be something different and then you get the instruction sheet and the booklet for all the camouflage markings a envelope a stencil data and the markings for your each spitfire a one sheet with the three canopy masks in Three individual photo etch frets for the instrument panel, harnesses and other bits. And three sets of wheel masks, exhaust uh, wheels and the the rear wheel. Looking at this you get two uh, variations of cockpit bulkhead and uh, instrument panel there is a option for decal or you could dry brush the raised uh, detail there uh, various uh, landing gear oleos two sets of exhaust stubs and um, there is you can do an option for 
modeling the door open here it is raised sorry recessed panel lines with nice rivet detail also showing through moving on to the second spring is the prop the cockpit sidewalling detail you can individually place inside wheels uh, ordnance various other parts there all nicely detailed and crisp there is no flash present nicely moulded moving on to the third spree is the fuselage halves, the upper and lower wings, wing tips. Again, the details very crisp. There's no flash present. It's resist panel lines and then rivet detail. Also, it's very fine. There is some marble into the plastic also. Lastly, the fourth and fifth sprues are rear control surfaces, uh, wing tips. It's looking like you could have high altitude uh, tips or just the standard, more rounded ones. Uh, moving on to the clear parts. First glance, they're very clear. There's no um, no marks or imperfections. Looking very nice. Then various options to have uh, bubble canopies. You can options to have the uh, the main middle part. You could have that displayed open, or you could have that closed. Moving on to the resin it's very nice details nice and crisp and clear there is sidewall uh, markings also on that and the exhaust stubs there is uh, holes so you don't have to drill those out standard with resin and the photo edge threat for the instrument panels and seat belts and various other parts also and your the masks not to really see on that. Next is the decals. Your um, various stencil data, the wax coverings for the weapons. It's been good register. 
they're um, they're thin. Camera film isn't overly uh, exceeding out. It's quite close to the the actual marking, so that's quite good. And that is uh, three of everything on that one. It's the main coding for each Spitfire. Again, it's crisp, colours nice, there's no misprint. And then your roundels for different countries, your fin flashes, the instrument panel decal also. Moving on to the instruction booklet, oh, the front cover has the box art. Opening the page, you have at the top read the instruction sheet carefully before assembly. Instruction uh, symbols for various opening up holes, bending the phase away, and optional parts. Then you have the Sprue parts plan and then the blue fielding areas mark show uh, parts not in use. The, the masks plan, photo etch, uh, the resin, and then suggested colours at the bottom. Something different with these instructions as there isn't. A, a build option number goes uh, in uh, alphabetical uh, lettering A, B, and C. So, as usual, we start off with uh, building the cockpit that is A, B, C, and D, and at the bottom. You're adding the cockpit side walling before you glue it to the fuselage house. Turn it over. Uh, there's an option for a closed canopy only here. It's indicating to cut these parts in red. And then Adding the cockpit to the, the fuselage house, adding various parts as it's going together. Then next, starting the blower wing assembly uh, options here to drill out holes for various options. Adding the side walls for the wheel wells. Moving over, uh, two options for C type wing, and then here it's referring referring to the uh, camouflage marking booklet. Um, so if you're doing markings one seven nine seventeen and twenty, yeah, you have to use the C type wing with the various parts what they're indicating to add to that. And again, for E type wing, I prefer to the camouflage marking booklet. So moving over, once the fuselage is joined, you add the top engine covers, adding the the wing assembly to the fuselage, and here is the addition of the 
wing tips and control surfaces for the main wing. Over the page is more control surface assembly, including the the resin rear tail wheel. And again, it's showing or telling you to refer to the camouflage marking booklet for various parts to add to that specific um, aircraft you're modelling. Moving down, you're now adding the radiators and the, the air inlets. Moving over this assembly of the resin wheels to the oleos, adding more various parts to the unit carriage. And there's landing gears going on here. Moving over the assembly of the spinner and prop. That's adding to the fuselage, adding the aerial and the weaponry. And then down here is a plan showing uh, which uh, cannon option you need to uh, add or cut off depending on what markings you're doing so you have to refer to the camouflage marking booklet again for that to get the right uh, variant and moving over options for open and closed canopy assembly and then up here is the plan for the mask which is guarding you through to which uh, mask piece you need to add onto the canopy there and then lastly the uh, assembly of the ordnance and again it's um, indicating here you have to refer to the camouflage marking booklet to see which mark carried uh, which variation of ordnance and then at the back is the stencil position for the uh, do not walk um, markings and then uh, various other stenciling for various other moving on to the camouflage markings I will just um, quickly flick through as it's for you self-explanatory, it's a uh, just a marking guide. Tells you where to position each um, decal for the various markings. As I said before, I'm going to do the uh, ZDB for the Duxford series, and then two other <coughs> markings. I probably won't do all three British. I might do the. <coughs> the last two is to check uh, aircraft.
that's the camouflage and markings booklet and lastly uh, you have the, the massive uh, like history book of each uh, marking you get in the kit uh, it's all in uh, the Czech language so on the back here all I could uh, translate again which is um, a bit ignorant of me is the duck's head word hit down here there's the, uh, the ZDB which is currently uh, to this day based at Duxford and again I'll just flick through uh, the booklet just to quick show you quickly and again uh, the front cover is the box art 